What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, and it's update time. Now listen, now I could read these to you word by word and make sure my video is 10 minutes, but listen, <laughs> I respect your time and your ability to read. I'm going to post the link to this in the description box. We're just going to summarize these. We're going to talk about the key points of the patch notes because, listen, things about to get crazy. Okay. Not because of anything else. Let me just go ahead and say it right now. I am so, so sorry, Xiao. All right. So, anyway, here we go. Update maintenance begins here at 0600 UTC plus 8. Um, that is like 3 p.m. PST. Uh, basically, uh, everybody will have the patch basically at the same time. This is a major update, so everybody will have this at once. We're getting a 300 Primo Gem maintenance bonus. You got to be at least Avenger Rank 5. And as you guys know, Shao is coming. All right, he's going to be here. Um, the weapon banner is kind of different. Like this whole thing that they're doing, this basic whole patch is completely different. Um, so with Shao, it's going to be Diona, Beto and Shinyan. I have to say that with the characters, I was right in the prediction. All of the characters that I said are actually here. Just the order that I said was just all effed up. <laughs> so way wrong on the order. Uh, but that's what's going to happen. So for the first portion up until 217, and then Kaching is going to kick in. And with Kaching, it's going to be Bennett, Ningguang, and Barbara. All right. I thought Barbara was going to be with Xiao, but pfft, whatever. They put both the healers in the same banner. All right, so that's cool. Now, let's talk weapons. The weapon banner is literally going to last for 20 days. All right, it's going to be the Primordial Jade Wing Spear and the Primordial Jade Cutter. It's going to be the new sword that I talked to you guys about. I don't know if it's still the same as what it was on Honey Impact, but if it is the same, it has 40 freaking 4% crit rate at level 90. So, of course, we have to wait and see if they change this, but there's also going to be some new four stars. That are going to be up and coming. Um, they said that Staff of Homa Polearm, uh, Lithic Spear Polearm, Lithic Blade Claymore will appear in the future event wishes. And now you guys are probably sitting there like, D, how the hell did you just skip over the big red letters? And listen, this is why. Hu Tao's coming, y'all. Okay. You looking at me right now? I'm looking right into your soul. Hu Tao is coming. 1.3 all right i wanted to read the uh, staff of homa polearm first because you know we've been talking about this on stream a lot staff of homa is basically for hotel and that's going to be coming um it's going to be a nice thing especially if you know the jungle buffs are going to do what i think that they're going to do this spear is going they're going to make some money and it might not necessarily <laughs> be for the characters so right now you guys have a choice to make whether you guys are you know summoning for Xiao or summoning for Hu Tao or both. It's going to be up to you. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, more character event wishes to follow in version 1.3. So this is going to be a big thing. That's why I had to apologize to Xiao up front. <laughs> but that's what we got. So uh, so from 210 to 228, you know we know we got the new event. Uh, we also got all the glitters. That's also going to be starting on 210. Current uh, deep beneath the lanterns, 214. Light above the sea. But it's just it's a ton of stuff happening, right? We're getting 26 more world quests. Uh, you know, along with this stuff here, we got lantern right tales one, two, and three. But just make sure that you guys complete these because after the event is over, you will not be able to get them. Now, there are some unlock criteria, but I'm sure when we get into the game, they will prompt us to do what we need to do to get it done. And then, as you guys know, we got the tower defense and all that good stuff coming. Uh, we also have the Shao Market, uh, Phase 1, 2, and 3, which we're going to be, be able to buy a bunch of goodies. Character level up materials, you know, crown, enhancement, you know, all that good stuff that we're normally able to buy during the event. Now, as you guys know, you'll be able to select a character of your choice as well come February 10th. Uh, we talked about this. If you guys have seen the video where I talked about which one should you choose, this is what I was talking about. If you guys haven't seen that video, there will be a link on the end screen at the end of this video where you guys can check that out where I talked about kind of like breaking that apart logically and deciding which one to pick, which is best for you. We also have the Let Fortune May Find You. Okay, we got a seven day login event where we get 10 intertwined fate right so that's going to be nice especially since Xiao is only for two weeks Kaching for two weeks and then of course you already know who's coming there's also going to be more events following all of these events <laughs> so many damn events uh, that's going to be happening when Hu Tao drops 
as I mentioned before, we have 26 more world quests. Uh, Shao will also have his own story quest to do. We also have the Paramedic Transformer, new gadget that's coming where we can change character level up materials and ascension materials. We got new monsters, new consumables to use with the little converter thing. We got new recipes, a bunch of new system features like, you know, the loving beings that they showed in the live stream. Controller support, which I know a lot of you guys are super duper hyped about. And a new photography method added for PS4 players. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the Zhongli buffs overall here, just because we're going to be doing a whole kind of featurette on Zhongli and all his changes and gear swaps and how his whole thing is going to, you know, bing, bang, boom, uh, post-patch. So I'm not going to talk about that here. I've probably talked about Zhongli buffs and made your ears bleed by now, but you guys can expect a very special featurette for Zhongli when he comes out and is upgraded. Now, there were some other miscellaneous changes um, in terms of like some bugs and some glitches. Uh, nothing too crazy, just some quality of life improvements here. Um, they mentioned some changes to the Spiral Abyss. Uh, one thing that I thought was really, really important, though, is that the adjustment to the Geo Residence um, Enduring Rock. So the original effect was increases, you know, the resistance to interruption and increases the attack damage by 15%. But now the post adjustment effect is going to increase your shield strength by 15%. Additionally, characters protected by a shield will have the following special characteristics. Uh, damage dealt increased by 15. Dealing damage to enemies will decrease their geo resistance by 20% for 15 seconds. Um, so it seems like they're trying to basically, you know, improve the equality <laughs> with some of the elements of resonance. I'd imagine that hydro is probably on the menu next. So maybe, you know, maybe, uh, maybe lightning. I don't know. But uh, that's one of the changes that they've made. Uh, they also adjusted the shields uh, for the geo shields. Instead of 250% geo damage absorption, it is now 150% physical damage and elemental damage absorption. So it's going to be a little bit more effective. Seems like a, a lot more quality of life. Um, I will definitely put this article uh, link in the description box. So you guys can go through this with a fine comb. But I definitely wanted to hit on the major points and the changes, especially now that we basically already know in plain sight that Hu Tao is going to be coming with her spear right after Kaching. Um, we got the super long ass weapon banner, which obviously the weapons are pretty good. And it's going to be up to you guys if you guys want to summon. I'm still waiting for that Jade Sword to see if it's the same as what I think it is. And if it is, oh. Oh my god, all right. But other than that, Geo buff, Zhang Li buff, events for days. Like, there's so many damn events, dude. I don't even. I hope, I hope it's going to work how I think it's going to work in my head because that means we are going to be busy with content creation. So, with that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and make sure you guys check out the link to the patch notes in the description. Uh, with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.